hello everyone and welcome back to the channel um, my name is Steph super excited for today's video if you can't see my excitement on my face it's because I have book mail I'm gonna show you my stack hopefully I don't tip it over this is all the books <laughs> I bought all this stuff myself I have been saving up um, and my, all my parcels I have had the, these sporadically come over like the past month month and a half or so and I've just been saving them on this little corner of my bookshelf here I'm pretty sure that my bookshelves are gonna be completely full after I unbox this mail um, these are all like books that I've really been excited to add to my bookshelf um, some of them I've probably already read on my phone and just wanted the physical copy um, there was some sales there's a little bit of stuff from everywhere here um, I'm just so excited to open these parcels and it's taking everything in me not to open them as they have been coming but I just got the last one in the mail today which is the big box that I showed you on the bottom there and another parcel in the mail so I walked down to the post office to get that after I got a notification on my phone and now I have all my parcels here and I can finally open them and yeah I think that's all I got to say but um, let's get right into the video because I cannot wait to unbox this for you guys okay so i guess i'll kind of maybe group them into where i got them from um so i've got indigo amazon um that's another indigo another amazon another indigo <laughs> and then book and lit is this big box here which i think i'll save to last because this one has the most books in it um so maybe we'll start with the indigo books um some of these i did open up a little bit to make sure that it was the right books that i got um so i think each one of these parcels probably has like two books each and i'm gonna have a ton of recycling to have to get rid of after this video okay so the first book they got from that order was this one here called star cross by mini dark um the first two books i'm about to show you I don't really know too much about them i haven't seen anything like being talked about um on book talk or anything like that not yet anyways um i heard this one's about astrology and like um i don't know it just it sounded really interesting when i read it online it was a romance i do believe yes it says rom-com on the back um i love a rom-com they say they were six dollars but they were two for ten this one and another book that i got um this one here i think i have seen this cover possibly before um somewhere on tiktok um but i haven't seen it talked about and i don't know what it's about um like i said they were on sale so i thought i'd pick these two up and just try and find like maybe some hidden gems i mean um mostly i go for things that are super popular but I wanted to try something different. Um, so this one's Makeup Breakup by Lily Menon. Um, so I'm gonna give that one a go and see what that's all about. Um, like I said, another romance one here, as well as from Indigo. And these are two books that I was really excited about. Um, I have not read either of these yet. The first one is The Summer of Broken Rules by K.L. Walther, I think. Um, this one I heard was supposed to be like the like top book of the summer and everyone's been reading it. I've seen it all over TikTok, all over Instagram, YouTube, basically anywhere you can consume book information from is where I've seen this. And I tried to order it on Amazon because that's normally where I order my books, but I did not see it there. And I then looked on Indigo and they had it on there for a pretty reasonable price so i did place an order just for this book um which i'm super excited to read then i also um got this book which is all your perfects by colleen hoover um i could have ordered this one a long before then and i yet have uh, this is one of the colleen hoover books i've yet to read but i really really wanted the new cover i thought this new cover was really beautiful and when new covers come out it's really like hit or miss whether you can get the new cover even if it like goes on sale it's normally like it goes on sale to like sell out the old cover to bring the new cover in 
Um, so that's how it was on Amazon. It was still showing the old cover. When I went on Indigo, they had the new one. So of course I had to order it. So I placed an order for these two at the same time. And I'm so happy how beautiful the covers are on these books. Really excited to read them. Um, yeah, that is the first order I placed um, that came with those other books as well. Um, so that is all I have from Indigo. Now I'm going to show you the books I got from Amazon. Um, if you want to read like a synopsis on these, you could just Google the books. Um, Colleen Hoover, I'm pretty sure everybody knows what this one is about, but it's basically um, goes from past to present and it's about a couple who is having um, marital issues, I believe, and um, having... Uh, there's a few uh, other issues going on in the book definitely look up trigger warnings about it um, but basically it jumps back from chapter to chapter of when they were young and they were falling in love to now when their marriage is on the rocks and seeing how they can you know rebuild their life back together um, this one here I don't even I, I don't even have a clue what it's about but I'm sure you've seen this book around before so you can google it and see what it's all about but I'm excited to read these too Alrighty, so let's get into the Amazon packages. I have two Amazon packages here. I know for a fact I ordered some more Colleen Hoover. So let's just, let's just see what we've got. Okay. First of all, I did not realize this book was this thick. Um, let's see how many, oh, it's it's not even that many pages. It just seems like that, 377 pages. Um, but it does seem like a thicker book. So this is Archer's Voice. And this has been on my TBR list for like a long time, especially like I think right into when I got back into reading. And I don't know too much about it, um, but it's been a really popular book. I've seen it everywhere especially on TikTok and I'm just so excited to read about this book. I know a little bit of what it's about um but I don't know enough of it to explain it so yeah you can just look it up. It's supposed to be like such a beautiful um romance that could possibly make me cry who knows um but yeah this one is definitely high up on my TBR list. There's another book in this package. Um, this one is a super small book. This one is Maybe Not. It's a novella by Colleen Hoover. I have actually already read this. Oh my gosh, I haven't held a book this small in like a long time. It's a super short story. It's only... Okay, so there's like 120 pages in this. Um, if you have not read the maybe series by colleen hoover you absolutely need to um i have not finished it yet i'm on maybe now which is the very last one um so i have already read this one and the first one which i do own it's quite high up on the shelf you definitely won't be able to see it in the frame um but it's such a beautiful love story um my f so far i haven't read all of colleen hoover's books but so far the maybe um, Someday book, which is the first one in the series, is my absolute favorite Colleen Hoover book. I just love it so much. Um, I don't want to give too much away about what it's about, but basically um, it's about Ridge and Sydney. And Ridge is in a band, and Sydney has been helping him write music. And obviously, it's a love story, so you can see where it goes from there. Um, I don't want to give away anything else because I knew nothing really going into the book besides what I read on the back, which is very vague. And I adored that book. I cannot rave about that book enough. Like I said, it's my favorite Colleen Hoover book so far. This one here was super cute. This one's not about Sydney and Ridge. You do get to see them in the background, I guess, of the book, like they're side characters in this book. But this one's about Warren and Bridget, which um, Warren and Bridget are um, roommates in Ridge's um, apartment or house. I think it's an apartment. Um, so you get to follow their love story in this book here. Um, it's kind of like their point of view happening at the same time as the maybe someday frame is happening, if that makes sense. Um, so there is like a few repeats 
of some of the things that Sydney and Ridge say in this one, but you get to see the reactions and the point of views of Warren and Bridget. Um, I really did enjoy this one as well. Um, like I said, I've not finished the series uh, just yet, and I do not have the last book, but I'm reading the last book on my phone and I will order it. Um, currently, Colleen Hoover is going through a cover change and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the last book in the original cover, which will be sad because I own the first two in the original um, series covers. But the new covers of her books are so beautiful and I'm really excited to get some more of those. Here's another Amazon parcel. As I can see, there's a hole here and I did not do that. So I'm really hoping the books are not damaged. Let's see, there's three books in here. Okay, so... The first book I got is It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey and I actually do own a book by Tessa Bailey I think it's right here it's um Tools of, of Engagement which I heard is like the second or third I'm not even too sure I know it's not I'm pretty sure it's not the first one in that in that series it's like a three part series um I have not read that one yet but I've heard so many amazing things about this book and I just, it wasn't on sale. I usually buy the books when they're on sale, but I just hit the bullet and I bought it because I really want to read it. It's very like rom-com vibes and that's what I've been, well, it's a little fuzzy there. That's what I've been reading recently and really been enjoying. So I had to pick this one up. The next book that I picked up is the second one in that uh, series, which is Hook, Line, and Sinker, again by Tessa Bailey. And I heard this one is not as good as the first one. This one was on sale for like 13 something. So that's what prompted me to buy the first one so I could read the second one. Um, I'm guessing they're two different couples because they look like different people on the front. Um, don't know too much about them. I know it's like this one here is all about like going to like a small fisherman town, I believe. And she's like a preppy girl, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know too much about it. I've just heard that it's been really good and I want to try it for myself. Um, yeah, I I guess we'll have to see how much I enjoy this one as well. Like I said, I've heard mixed reviews. I've heard that the first one was amazing, but the second one was a little bit of a letdown. Um, yeah, so that's that one. And then the last book that's in here, oh, okay. I was almost forgetting which one's the other one. Um, this one is The Good Girl Complex by L. Kennedy. Um, I've heard some good things about this as well. And L. Kennedy is pretty popular for the off-campus series. I think that's why I picked this up because I did read the off-campus series. In my last video, I talked about it and said that like, I, I had mixed reviews, I guess. So I did really enjoy the off-campus series, um, but I felt like, like I said, that the books kind of went in order and just kind of like plummeted down a bit um, from there. So like the first one I gave five stars and the second one I gave like four and a half and then four stars. Like they were good, but I felt like it was like a lot of repetition. Um, but I really did enjoy those books. So I'm going to give this one a go. Uh, I don't know too much about this. I'm assuming it's Summer Romance by the cover. It was on sale. It actually went on for even cheaper after I ordered it. Um, but I mean, that's all good. <laughs> I, yeah, I feel like I can't really say a whole lot about it. Um, but these books have been on my TBR list. I think this one just came out recently. Um, but most of the books that I have here have been on my TM, my, uh, my TBR list and I'm really excited to read them. Alrighty. So that's all the small packages. The last package I got was this one here from Book Outlet. I have made an order on Book Outlet before um, and that one was like a really big haul. I can't remember how many books I ordered. It was like 20 something, maybe 30 um, books. It was when I first discovered the website and got back into reading. Really wanted some more books from my bookshelf and I realized they were having a really big sale and the books were a lot cheaper than what other places I ordered on. So I ordered from there. This is my second order and I just watch on there all the time for the sales that they have and also they basically if you don't know about the website it's like books extra books from like publishers and things like that so they do have like little marks on the bottom for like a markdown price so you will get like the little um 
permanent marker marks on the bottom. Um, but yeah, sometimes they have really like in books, sometimes they don't have a whole lot, but they definitely have a lot of the fantasy genre. I'm not into reading fantasy, but if you are looking for some inexpensive books and you're into the fantasy genre, I would definitely check out Book Outlet. These are the romance ones that I picked up and there's been quite a few on my TBR list and things that I've had on my Amazon wish list that I found on here. So I'm super excited about that. So I've seen that you just like tear this. out as I go. The first book I see is this one here. It actually has like a Target sticker on it. So like I said, it's books that have been marked down. Um, so this one is The Happy Ever After Playlist by Abby Jimenez, I believe that's the name. And um, I know what this book is about, but not enough to explain it to you. Um, but I'm really excited to read this one. And uh, it's been on my list to read for quite a while. So when I saw it on Book Outlet, I was like, definitely going to grab that one so that way I can get a chance to read it. The next book I'm going to show you here, this one here, oh, I haven't been able to get a book with like a glossy cover in quite a while. Um, so this one's really pretty. Um, this is How to Fail at Flirting by Denise Williams. And I have seen this one all over TikTok recently and on YouTube as well. And yeah, I'm just excited to check this one out and see what it's all about. It definitely has a really nice cover. The next book that I picked up, this one says it used to be a Wattpad book. Um, and this one is called Big Boned by Joe Watson. I absolutely love the cover of this book. Like the succulents and the blush pink, like that is my vibe. Um, I think it's so pretty. I know I don't know too much about this one except for it's about a plus size girl um, and yeah I just felt like it'd be definitely pretty relatable. I just love the cover of this book. It's so pretty and I think it's gonna look so nice on my bookshelf. Definitely a romance. Everything I've gotten is romance here. <laughs> the next book I got um, so I was kind of, I went on the website and you have to order like a certain amount to get a, um, get free shipping and, you know, to make it worth it for the discount, but you can select an order of, sorry if you can hear the person upstairs walking around, I live in an apartment and I'm in the bottom, um, but, um, as I was saying, normally you can select on their, like, popularity and it will give you the um, order of popularity for the books and this is one that was at the top of the list and it was called The Dating Dare um, by JC Lee. Haven't seen too much about this. Um, the cover was super pretty. I'm not gonna lie when some people say it's very controversial but whenever I see a book with cartoon characters like this on it like I'm sold. I always click on them. I check them out and see what they're about. Um, I'm pretty sure this one is fake dating but I'm not positive. Um, super cute and yeah. Romance. Totally there. Super excited to read that. The next book that I have here. This one I have seen a lot. I don't know too much about it but it's called The intimacy experiment. I feel like I say a lot. I don't know too much about it, but um, I know sort of the gist of the books, but not enough to explain it, if that makes sense. So this one says it's by Rosie Danaean, I think. Um, it's the author of The Roommate. I don't know. I know. I don't think I have read that book. I was going to say, I think I have it in the book, in the box, but I don't. Um, I really like the cover of this one. And yeah, it looks really good. I've heard a lot of great reviews about it. Wanted to check it out for myself. I think it's going to be really good. And I think it's, it's one of those ones that's higher up on my list of books to read. So I will be getting to that one soon. And hopefully um, with my next video that I come out with, which will be talking about the books I've read in May, if not the like a May 
and June wrap up together depending on how many books I read and if there's enough for a video. The next book I got was by Sarah Desi or Desse, I'm not too sure. I totally butcher people's names. <laughs> this one is called The Dating Plan and I feel like I don't have anything like this purple. Like I do have like a couple books that are like in the pink and like blue hues. I didn't buy it just because of the color but I just the color is what drew me to the book and of course it has the cartoon characters on it. The dating plan sounds like a fake dating trope. Um, I'm not too sure but it says romantic comedy on the back. Yeah there's all that's I need to say. Obviously I bought it because I'm really interested in reading it. Um, the next book that I got Okay, this one I've seen everywhere and I've not I've heard a lot of really good things about it and it's called The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. About it, know that it's a romance, know that it was really popular, so I'm probably going to love it. Um you will see, I guess, in upcoming videos when I do read it, uh how much I enjoyed it, but it sounds really good. We're on our very last book another pink one which I'm super excited about. This one was called Last Chance Books and it is such a beautiful cover. I am so excited to have this one. Um, this one's called Kelsey Rodkey. Rodkey? Not too sure. Um, it looks about, it looks like a book about books. Who doesn't love that? Um, it's a romance. I don't know what else to say about it. I just seen it on there I was like that looks like a book I would want to read so yeah that's all the books I have I'm gonna count them all up now and tell me tell you how many I have I didn't realize that I did order two hard covers but I mean that's what happens when you order on a website that has you know discounted books is that you just kind of get what's there and I'm not opposed to hard covers it's just I prefer a paperback which I know is very controversial and a lot of people prefer to have um Hard covers because they're less likely to get damaged and stuff, but there's just something about reading a floppy paperback that I just love so much. 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 books. I'm gonna see if I can. This is gonna this is gonna be a close one here, but we're gonna try and put them all in a stack and see if I can show you them, which I really hope that I don't tip it over. But this is all of the books that I am going to be reading with over within the next couple of months and yeah I'm just so excited to have these to organize my shelves to just continue collecting romance um, novels because I'm super passionate about reading and romance novels in general like it's basically all I read if you see over on this side here I did talk about it in my last video um, this side is like a lot of fantasy and this is what I used to read in high school but this side is all of my romance and it goes all the way up to the ceiling you just can't see because I'm sitting on the floor um, but romance is definitely the genre I've been reading so if you're interested in romance and hearing my reviews and things like that and you know finding out whether the book is good before you purchase it um, consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy reading. Bye!